Hey screeners, how you doing? It's Thursday today, so you know what that means. Hashtag TBT, throwback Thursday. We go all the way back 10 years and even 20 years ago. I'm Anthony Jordan. I'm Nick Olero. Okay, Nick, so for the for those new viewers out there, the Throwback Thursday show shows us films released this week, 10 years ago and 20 years ago. Correct. Which ones do you have for us this week? My AKA friend? the feeling old section. Oh, isn't it just? Yeah. <laughs> uh, walk down memory lane, which isn't always so glorious. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we're still in January, so I wasn't expecting great things, but it wasn't as bad as I thought, actually. The movie that's 10 years old, the second part of the Underworld series, starring Kate Beckinsale and Scott Speedman, Underworld Evolution. Okay, Underworld Evolution, uh, okay. I was quite fond of Underworld 1. Yes. Evolution... <sighs> For, okay, for anyone not familiar with the whole even um, underworld, so evolution, for the whole underworld franchise, it's I was going to say Dracula's vampires versus werewolves in the ultimate. AJ, show. please lichens. Yes, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't seen Underworld, you wouldn't know what a lichen was. Too, yeah, too well. So yes, lichens as the um, werewolves are known in that franchise. It's okay. Never been my favourite of the monster. No, it wasn't. Yeah, Do you know what it was? The first one had such massive potential because it's a good idea. Yeah. And Kate Beckinsale in the leather suit. I'll watch that all day long. As you said. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, what was stupid though is that in Underworld 1, you had Bill Nye playing, I, I think he was called, what was it, Marcus or Victor? Yes. Great villain! And they kill him? I was like, no, don't! The second one essentially picks up where the first left off. Kate Beckinsale and Scott Speedman's characters are still uh, are still close together and they're trying to find out the origins of their bloodlines and what happens is that Victor's uh, brother, Marcus, the original bad, they never call him Dracula, but that's what it's hinted as, wakes up and then he's got another half-brother who happens to be a nasty, savaging werewolf like him called William and he, it just gets lost. Too many villains, too much hearkening back to the first movie, no real direction, and it gets real lost. Do you know what I wonder? What's that? Right? I'm, I've always said this. There are films that are intended to be sequels, and it will work. Then there are films that are based on the success of the previous film, yeah, right. and they make a sequel. Because the first one did quite well, didn't it? There you go. And I've got a feeling that's where Underworld Evolution fell. Um, yeah, as you said, it's just too much of a cluster. That it's just, it just they shouldn't confusing. have killed Victor. Well, there you go. Mistake. But again. Believing you've got the film locked and it won't have a sequel, mm. you kill the big guy. But then it, ah, oh, let's let's see how we can work on it to make it. You know, we were milk talking the cow. just off camera before. They milk these movies that don't necessarily need milking, and they still haven't made Thundercats and Captain Planet. You want a throwback? There's a throwback. We await these movies with great anticipation. Just <laughs> keep them the hell away from Michael Bay, please. <laughs> No Transformers <laughs> repeats. I, I had a feeling you would say that. Uh -huh. um, yeah. It would be interesting to see which director is positioned and granted the authority on those films. I reckon Steven we will Spielberg. see... I could see him doing amazing with Thundercats. I reckon we'll see Thundercats come before James Captain Cameron Planet. doing Captain Planet. Ooh. He likes his whole green piece, you know, yeah, hugging the whales, yeah, yeah, tree yeah, hugging yeah, yeah. stuff like in Avatar. Give him Captain Planet. Yeah. He made them blue as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Ooh. You like that? Anyway, huh? Yeah, anyway, that's going off topic. Yeah. Underworld Evolution didn't need to be made. Yeah, it did. Yeah. If you watch in it, a it's not a bad movie, but it's not one that's going to stick with you. Mm, it's yeah. that much better if you've seen the first one, but you can watch it as a standalone you can, movie. You can, but I would advise watching Underworld. One, because you'd appreciate it more to you. Like, yeah, as you said, it does work as a standalone movie, yeah. but I would. Watch yeah. Underworld 1, then stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't ruin yourself. But hey, if you don't know, get to know. So that's You got it. Yeah, it's, it's worth a watch. It's worth a watch. All right, our movie that is 20 years old um, was one of actually my childhood fond memories. He hasn't got a very high Rotten Tomatoes scoring. Um, starring Rick Moranis, who I really want to come back to movies. Rick Moranis, who you'll all know, is playing Barney Rubble and is playing... Uh, honey, the dad in Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. What was his name? Uh, Peltzer. Billy Peltzer, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, I remember Billy. I couldn't remember the No, Billy Peltzer's from Gremlins. Who was, uh, he was Billy, though, wasn't he? Uh, I'm sure it was a Billy. I can't, um, no, I can't remember. Anyway, yeah, I'm yeah, blanking dad, on that. The dad. Yeah, so Big Bully starring Rick Moranis and Tom Arnold. Um, Tom Arnold, if you, the great movie you want to watch him in is True Lies. 
with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yes. That's yeah, incredible. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's basically the story is as follows. You haven't seen this one, have you? No. Okay, so then I'll take over from this. It makes me feel really, really, really old. <laughs> I can't believe this is 20 years old. But essentially, it starts off with both of the characters as kids. Tom Arnold as kid, uh, he's called uh, Roscoe, and his the, his bully nickname is Fang, because he got this pointy tooth. Okay. Um, and he bullies Rick Moranis' character incessantly. Rick Moranis, essentially, just before leaving his little cozy white picket fence mountain town, sets Roscoe up, and he goes into juvenile hall for like 10, 15 years. Um, Rick Moranis is character grows you don't really see him growing he just cuts from being a kid being an adult as an adult he's a famous writer and he gets asked back to his hometown to uh to to teach as a te to be a teacher in writing of uh, english or writing i believe and then after 20 minutes or so in he realizes uh oh my bully's also a teacher here now where they start oh. to get along all of a sudden he sees the fang again and then he starts to freak out and then 10 minutes after that roscoe realizes Hi! <laughs> now, what are you going to do as a grown man? Principal, he's bullying me. But bully, he does. So it's being bullied like a kid, but as an adult. And it's a fun movie. It's bad, Wait, but it's fun know, bad. What, what are we talking? 20 years ago, 96. 96. It was, it was perfect for the era, I reckon. Yeah. I reckon it was You have to have been an 80s, 90s kid to really understand some of these films. I, I'm sure some of them have got some of the worst ratings ever, but the spirit of the way, yeah, yeah. The, the, the spirit of the way the world was back then, yeah. fits perfectly. As a old man, <laughs> I was gonna give the age there, I would, I'm still like warm into that. I really want to see it. It's fun. <laughs> it's yeah, fun. It, it, that sounds really cool. And it's got Rick Moranis who needs to come back to acting. Rick, please come back. The world misses Rick Moranis. I, I'm going to go on a tangent here. Uh huh. Just based on when, any, well, you'll catch a link that we used to do, the news. You always asked who could do a replacement in Jumanji. Rick Moranis. A little bit on the old side now. <sighs> so, but, yeah, that would be the issue. Yeah, apart from that, I think that could have worked. Have to check the age, but yes. Okay, folks, as you can see, my, my terminology for this show is always, if you don't know, get to know. 20 years ago, I didn't know. Today, I still don't know about this film, but I do now, so I'm getting to know, and I will watch it, and you'll hear my feedback on it soon. Mm. That was a real good one. I actually enjoyed this. I can see we're leaning more into Feb, and the films are getting a bit better. <laughs> They're getting there. We're moving away from yeah. Cutthroat Island and Rumpel's Nuts. Yeah, <laughs> and ah, oh, last week's stinker. Hostel. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, we got it from Dust Till Dawn. Yeah, I Link know. above. Yeah. Cool. Alright guys, so have you seen these two movies, Big Bully and Underworld Evolution? What did you think of them? What's your favourite vampire or werewolf movie of all time? And what's your favourite Rick Moranis performance of all time? Yes, that's a good question. That is a good one, huh? Right, yes, of course. To answer that question, you are more than welcome to comment below as well as subscribe and like and share the video. But also Sharing is caring. Indeed it is. But as well as that, we are on all the social networks. Talk it, be it Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, we're there. And also, folks, be sure to follow those pages because we're also delivering the news there. You'll get a small caption of something and we'll fill you in on all the latest news because we are the Silver Screen Dudes. We know, I was going to say, yeah, no. Yeah, we're the Silver Screen Dudes. We know everything about film and we like to share and care. And that's why we'll deliver it to you guys. So until the next time, I'm Anthony Jordan. I'm Nico Luro. See you later. See ya.